Uh, it looks like any ordinary cabinet, doesn't it? But there's something very unique about this cabinet. Let me show you. Nice base molding around the bottom. Nothing unusual about the door or the inside. I did a finished interior with some shelves and some standards. But, ah, let me show you, there's something different. If I lift up on the cabinet, you'll see the base is separate from the cabinet. Let's go to the bench and I'll show you why. As you saw when we lifted it off, it uh, fits inside this uh, space here. Uh, it's just a, a box of MDF and we'll flip it over and I'll show you. Okay, I've got it uh, flipped over now and what I'm going to do is fill it with stone. Um, I cut this access hole in the bottom of the uh, base and I'm going to fill it up with stone to uh, add weight to the bottom of the cabinet. I'm pick it up at the hardware store, it's just a pebble, like a fine pebble stone. And uh, it was quite wet when I opened up the bag, so I laid it out for a day on a towel. Actually, I did this one time before on a table, on a pedestal table. And it worked out great. Okay, now I'm going to uh, glue the little panel in place. Some construction adhesive. Okay, uh, you're probably wondering uh, how much does it weigh? Uh, I've got the scale here. Uh, let's put it on the scale and see how much it weighs. About uh, 60 pounds. All right, I've got the uh, base uh, reinstalled. And now I'll give it a little test and uh, see how it works. That works great. No chance of it tipping over. This is going into a hospital waiting room, so we're concerned about the children being able to pull it. Yeah, it was great.